Are you a producer online selling your beats, you know, for 500 for an exclusive, a little lower for like leasing prices? Stop it. Why aren't you selling your beats for nickels? Like, come on. Like, AI's taking over. You guys need to step up your game and start selling those beats for nickels. Shit, pennies for leases, man. I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you producers out here selling your beats for reasonable prices. Are you an artist watching this? Sick of these producers asking for money for their beats? Really should just be giving to you for free because like they ain't finna be nothing if it's not for you. Hey man, if you don't believe me and if you don't want to hear me say it, then I'm gonna get the words from the expert, the man. The person who got all the right answers, he do have the answers, Craig and Perry. Now, check this out. So I see this thing on my YouTube feed by DJ Payne, and he quotes it saying, all y'all producers are about to be replaced by AI technology. That's what you get for charging for your beats. What do you think about this one? Already off rip. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah. Of course, like I'm sick of these producers asking for money for beats, man. Like, like you should be happy for me to hop on your beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be like grateful that I even like checked out your stuff. Am I right? But but let's hear it from Craig and Perry. He's going to tell us exactly what we need to hear. He's going to tell us the gospel. All y'all producers are about to be replaced by AI. I honestly think beat stars ruin producers' expectation. 500 for an exclusive that the artist then needs to drop another 500 to record, mix, master, 100 on cover art, potentially thousands on a video. <laughs> All right, so now let's get let's get serious. Let's get serious. Let's actually break this down. Let's get a little bit more serious about this. So check this out. So he says that need to pay 50 for recording, mixing, and mastering. And then let's just first break that down. Before I started producing, because I produce more now, I used to be an artist. I used to go to studios. I used to pay for recording, mixing, and mastering. If you are paying 500 for one song, you are jumping way out of your expenses and you're getting finessed. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. You can get your stuff recorded, mixed, and mastered for a lot less for one song. So when I see 500 to record, mix, and master, and he's trying to push this as for one song, this man's getting finessed. Or he's trying to pay for somebody way out of his cost range and whatever. Because um, back when I was um, recording, mixing, mastering, and doing all that stuff, all the stuff that he's talking about, when I was doing it, number one, I think I used to pay 200 for, um, for like two hours. 200 for two hours. And I was able to get three songs out the way. So, and how I would get that done is the recording process would be easy and fast. I would come to the studio with the three songs that I know I want to record. What I would do back then before I had any equipment or anything, just to know if I like a song when it's recorded down, I had a cheap mic. I recorded into Audacity and I would record over whatever beat I'm going to use in order to see if I like how I'm flowing on it just off of recording things so I could hear myself back. You know what I'm saying? So then I would know which songs I wanted recorded. So when I got into the um, studio, when it was my time, I used to just knock out that stuff quick. And he would be mixing my songs and mastering them as we go along. Mastering, if I was doing like a whole album where everything would be a separate cost. But he's this is talking about one song. He was talking about one beat, one lease. So this is one song. So all that stuff would be done by the time, like, once I'm like finished recording everything, He's doing all like the final like mixing, like the little bit of mixing, and then he'll like get through the mastering pretty fast. Usually like 45 minutes if max, because I went to somebody who knew what he was doing, so he'll get it out, out the way fast. So he'll do that, get that out the way, and I'll get one song done, then another song done, then another song done because I can't prepare. If you're paying 500, see 500 back at where I was going was like, <laughs> that was five hours. If you're taking five hours with somebody who's actually skilled at mixing and mastering, you're taking five hours to finish one song, there's something wrong with you, number one. That's something wrong with you, 100%. So that, we could definitely cut that out. You're not paying that much if you're working in your expenses and you're actually going to people who know what they're doing. Unless you're like going to like these big studios where like big artists go to 
just so you can get the vibe, I guess. So, and then this guy says 100 on cover art. See, now this is funny to me because his first statement says, all y'all producers are about to be replaced by AI. But this man's complaining about cover art. So that must mean he hasn't learned how to use AI for art. So you're definitely not going to be using AI for music. This dude's going to be the type of person to type in like commands and be like, um, hard, type B, yeet, can, can, um, 808's knocking. Like he's going to, I don't know how to explain stuff. If you, if you can't even get the cover art expenses out of the way, if you need like artwork done, then like you def like you definitely out the way, man. You out the way. So, but here's another thing. Let's actually go check and let's look at cover art of some big artists right now. So I'm gonna open up Spotify. Cause he's talking about paying a hundred dollars for cover art. So that means getting something drawn. But watch this. This, this is the most craziest thing you're gonna see, man. It's, it's gonna be insane what you see. So boom. Drake and 21 Savage. Let's go to his um, I think it was this project was um honestly never mind or her loss. Now, what does that look like to you? It's like a picture to me, you know. Uh, you know, something that you could just pull out your phone for and just, you know, take a picture. Free, all right, but 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 he needs that one hundred dollar cover art. And like you said, his whole argument is the AI stuff. But I think if you really wanted to cut costs, you would just use AI art. They make some fire pieces. So we cut that out. And he says potentially thousands on a video. That's even if you're going to do a video for it. That's the craziest part. He's acting as if once he buys the song, he's going to 100% do a video on this. So that is a possibility. People usually do video for songs that are making some type of wave. Or there's some people who would do the video as like the promo run, but like, do I, do, this man is talking about doing like big things, but he says 500 for an exclusive is too much. If 500 for an exclusive is too much, then you're, you're not making any of these moves. You're not making any of these moves to where you need to pay big prices for all the extra stuff. Cause my nigga, nobody's checking for you. Nobody's checking for you. So check this out. And then he said, and now after spending all of this, we have to pay for promo required to help the track get the traction that even starts to see the streams make enough, barely enough to even break even on an instrumental that would probably never see the light of day if it wasn't for the rapper. Pay for promo is always going to be at a loss. That's it. That's let me tell you something about this. Let me tell you something about music for anybody who's listening. If you're not ready to lose a whole bunch of money on the chance of making it back off of your successes, quit. You quit Quit right now, I'm, I'm being so serious. You're not gonna enjoy this, you're gonna dislike it because you're gonna be losing money. That's the thing, that's any business. You go into any business, you're going to lose money on the chance of possibly one day making money. So you're gonna be going in debt. That's why when you jump into these type of things, you wanna jump into it because you have a passion for it. That's why a lot of people tell you, you, you gotta want a passion for this Cause you instantly, you lose money. Even me, I'm still losing money. Cause I keep expanding and doing other things and whatnot. So I'm going to lose more money until I really make my big, big break. And then that's when I start to see money actually come back. It doesn't become profitable just because you want to start doing it. Now, let me say that again. It does not become profitable just because you want to do it. It becomes profitable later down, way later down the road. I've been doing this since I was like 16, 14. Like I got seriously into it like around like 16. But like I kind of started dabbling like in actually getting a lot of these things done when I was 14. I'm 24 now. And I'm still not doing anything on a um a, um a game. I'm not like everything always comes right back out. Like it comes right back out. I'm losing more money. Cause that's how it works. This is how it works with business. So what else did he say? He said, What's the promo on an instrumental that would never see the light of day if it wasn't for the rapper. Now he brought up beat stars. Now let me tell you something about this. You sell different type of leases on beat stars and exclusives. 
He wants the exclusives. So that means that they can't sell it anymore. When people are buying leases, you can still sell more leases on it. Kind of like how when you see Netflix and you see like different like um, networks streaming like the same movie or the same show because it doesn't have an exclusive contract to that um to the um streaming service. They lease it. So that means they could have other people lease it out too. You're seeing the light, dang, you're making profit off for that. <laughs> like, because people are paying for those leases and you're seeing profit off of that. So when he says it won't see the light of day, if this person's getting leases, why would you sell your exclusive for so cheap? That makes no sense. So then what you're basically doing is cutting out the chance of you making more money off of leases because somebody just, they just really want that exclusive so bad. The beat must be hard if you want it so bad. The beat must be hard. So he's, if this is your um, approach to those type of things, and this is how you feel like, oh man, like that you need to lower your prices. Blah, blah, blah. The beat must be hard. That means people are buying leases. Meaning they're making bread off of um, they're making bread off of um the beat off of leases already. For perspective, I bought 150 exclusive leases from a producer with a 300k following for 50. No splits required. That's cap. <laughs> That's cap. If somebody has a 300K following and they're selling exclusives for $50, <laughs> bruh, bruh, nope. <laughs> the followers must be fake then. Oh, there's also a third option that I didn't consider. Maybe he doesn't even know the difference between a lease and an exclusive. Because he said, I bought 150 exclusive leases exclusive leases, not just a basic lease, an exclusive lease from a producer with 300K followings for five, for not for five, for um $50. That means this dude has to be making a whole bunch of beats to restock up if this person's buying 150 exclusive leases. That means he can't sell anymore. The exclusive lease is exclusive. That means the person who buys it is exclusively to them. And he says, no splits required. Come on, man. I don't even feel like I have to explain this. Everybody should know if this person is selling that, like, I just don't believe it. It's just cap. It's cap to me, bro. Like, it's cap or this dude's getting finessed or he doesn't know what he's talking about at all. B-Star's ruined the game and it won't be around much longer. The age of demanding producers is shifting and the age of AI-based production is beginning. If you want to stay ahead, jump on the bandwagon early. So y'all need to start selling y'all beats for nickels, man. Five cents. Five cents for an exclusive beat, man. If this 300K producer is doing it for 50, how, how are we supposed to compete? So to all my artists out there, go tell a producer today, why aren't you selling your beats for five cents? Just a little nickel. They got to be grateful, man. Like the day of AI is going to take over, man. Like they're going to take over and producers just need to understand. Just stop selling your beats at all. Just give them out for free. Just no splits, no nothing. Just work for free, man. That's how that's how that's how you're going to get your name out there, man. Getting your name out there pays the bills. I promise you. I promise you. I'll never lead you astray, man. I'll never lie to you. I won't tell a single lie to you. Just do it. That nickel, man. Be happy that you got something because you won't be nowhere if it wasn't for these artists, man. Even even if they drop trash on your beat, man, you need to be you need to be thankful that that they just hopped on your beat and, and ruined it. Cause cause you know every artist is a great artist, man. There, there's no such thing as a trash artist. They can't ruin a beat. So I'm just saying, man. Like producers, man, step your game up, bro. Like we we not doing this no more.